Evan, who put in, or I guess between Evan and Devin, who was the first one to notice that Chris Olave is now in a speed flex? Uh, so Evan in actually, the, uh, yeah, he texted the group chat. Whoa. Yeah, Evan, Evan oh, noticed first. He, he sent it in the group chat. Um, I put it in the sheet here. Um, but yeah, Chris Olave, you know, he's worn the F7 for his first couple of seasons in the league. But last week or this past week, he was in the Riddell speed flex for the first time. So yep. again, we're seeing another like mid-season helmet change. You know, we saw Stefan Diggs switch into the F7 last week, which was kind of weird. And now we're seeing Olave um, make the opposite switch and into the speed flex. And I think he had much more luck with it. I think he looks a lot better in the speed flex than Diggs looked in the F7. You guys agree? <laughs> I, I do agree. I was yeah. going to say it looks good on him. Yeah, it looks natural. It might be the face mask, but it looks really good on Olave. And Diggs just was not pulling off the F7. Um, but I'm not sure if this is correct information, but I'm pretty sure we've seen Chris Olave throughout his first couple of years in the league get a lot of head injuries or just hit in the head a lot. And I wonder if that kind of played a role into making this switch into the F7. What do you guys think? I, I, I've never uh, put on an F7 or even held one in person. So I don't really know. Is the padding really similar to kind of the standard vengeance helmets or is it really different? Like the, the shut vengeance helmets? I'd say it's pretty similar. You don't think it's similar? I mean, you have it right there. if You want to grab it. Yeah, so I guess there's well, it's, there's there's two things to this. I'm saying this because I've held the shut vengeance, and we just got for our high school football team that I coach. The those yeah. are new helmets we got this year, and speed flexes were our standards. So I put one on just out of curiosity. It straight up felt like a bike helmet. It was like oh, not comfortable. Really? The padding was weird. Is just That's... like super super bare bones, and I was like, there's no way this protects people. I had a vengeance in high school, and I loved it. It was super comfortable for me. I really liked it. Yeah, it felt weird, man. Hmm. Weird. Um, so here's a uh, F7 VTD. Okay. It'd yep. be hard to get this thing in frame. Nice. It's a big CS. Look at that. <laughs> hey, there you are. It's nice. Hey, he gave me one of them visors, okay. man. Um, so this has the old school conical padding. The blue stuff like you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But chances are Chris Olave is in the NFL. He's yeah. a big dog. Well, he is. Chances are, well, chances he are he is in the NFL. <laughs> but chances are he's probably in a F7 2.0, which as of this year has switched out the padding to match what's in the vices. Oh, yo. I've right, never even so, seen that. Yeah, so the, the 2.0 has the reflex structure that you get in a vices so too. Mm. And then it has a very similar concept to the delta pods, which you build up on the inside. Um, so, yeah, chances are, like, I don't really know which of the two he's in just from looking at that one photo. We we could figure it out pretty quick based on things like the uh, the vent holes on the back, like they have different yeah. vent hole locations and stuff. But yeah, this is the new structure that they came up with this year, and it's it's the same concept or they it's the same technology that's in Vices because they're you know they're same parent company. Um, so it depends on that. I did notice though, I was actually watching that game, and they I'm pretty sure it was him. Was they said he was fresh out of the concussion protocol? Oh, he was. Yeah, he's on my fantasy team, so I've been watching him pretty closely. And he did get – I'm pretty sure he got nailed in the head last week. So that's why I kind of thought, you know, that it might have prompted the switch. You know, that's usually the main reason we see guys switch helmets. You know, they get rocked and they're like, well, let me try something that I won't get as hurt in. So Does does that come from, from them or does that come from the equipment staff, you think? Maybe they're just scared. I don't know. They've worn the same helmet for so many years, and they're just like, you know what? Like, I'm still getting concussions. I might as well try something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I also wonder what they do. Yeah, absolutely. We definitely, I mean, we talked about the different shut F7s. You know, you just showed a couple, but he could have also been in the shut F7 UR1, which is like the precision fit model of the shut F7. But, I mean, if, if, if he's still getting you know, head injuries in that, then maybe he's going to try the speed flex and see how it feels. Um, I'm pretty sure the speed flex is a little heavier, but yeah, a little. but it might absorb, you know, more energy. I don't know. What do I know? I'm just here. But um, yeah, he's he's in the speed flex now. So we'll see if he sticks with it. We'll see if he likes it. Um, yeah, not much else to say on that. I don't think this will be as a controversial as the switch that Diggs made, at least in terms yeah. of inter internet controversy. 
Yeah, we were. We, I wish we could follow up on that, but the Bills just had a bye week, so we have to wait another week to see if Stephon Diggs is switching back to the speed flex or if he's like just an F seven guy now. Yeah, kind of scary. Bill. What? Yeah. I'm putting these back. By the way, you keep talking. 